So let's pivot from uh, Keystone yeah. and to the Ukraine. Uh, recent developments, you know, there's a lot of concern in the energy world, uh, you know, generally uh, global economy. You know, we've seen markets kind of sell off and come back and trying to figure out what's going on there. Do you think the recent developments in Ukraine could accelerate North American uh, gas exports to Europe? Um, well, I think that, uh, uh, that obviously the, the you know, global demand for, uh, for gas is growing, um, especially in, 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 the, in the Asian region. But obviously if the Asian region is, is starting to, uh, uh, to you know, consume more, that will draw supplies from, from the Middle East and, and elsewhere. Um, so you know, it will you know, create you know, increased competition, which provides an opportunity, I think, for North America to fill that void. And obviously with, uh, uh, with things like disruptions uh, globally, um, like, like what's going on in, in Russia and Ukraine, um, as those suppliers look to different locations for diversity of supply, they're going to start looking to North America. Um, and they haven't historically looked to North America as a, as, as, a, as a secure source of supply. But if you look at the companies here, I mean, they've you know, they got large balance sheets, we've got rule of law. Um, you know, they can rely upon this supply. So I think that puts us in a pretty good competitive position um, globally uh, to compete for, for those markets. So then you do think if, if there is more strain in the Ukraine uh, that we could see those uh, exports rise from the U.S. Uh, into Europe? Most definitely. <laughs>